Hi friends and welcome to Victor's Reality. Today I'll be showing the Dell S3220 DGF and that it easily handles 120Hz gaming on the Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5. So let's start off with the Series X. Here is the display options. As you can see, 1440p at 120Hz with VRR on. You have to disable Allow 4K. If you leave it toggled on, it will force a 4K signal even though you have it at 1440p 120Hz. So disable it so you can get the full 120Hz image on your screen. And you can see here it's enabled in the game's options. But the S3220 DGF has no trouble displaying 120Hz signal, it plays it fine, there is no problems, no smearing, nothing crazy, everything looks beautiful, which the game is running at, at 120Hz, it looks crystal clear because it's so smooth. Every time you move, when you're panning or doing anything in the game, you can see it crystal clear, something that even at 4K you cannot see. It's hard to describe, you really need to see it, you know, YouTube caps everything at 60 frames, so it's really hard, but I mean, I can see, when I see my video, I can see it. I could see it in the editing software, I could see it just here, even watching it played back later on on YouTube. I can see the smoothness that 120Hz offers through the panel. 120Hz gaming in front of you is more pronounced once you actually see it on a TV or monitor. And in case you're wondering, well, how does it look? I don't know if it's worth it. Look it. What you should do is if you have a TV in your house, if you have some kind of true motion like on the LG TVs or Auto Motion Plus on the Samsung TVs, enable it, play the game at 60Hz. Just like you normally would, 4K60, enable the Auto Motion Plus. You might not like it because it's going to introduce a lot of input lag if you're not running on a Samsung TV with game mode. That's to give you an idea of how it looks if you don't have one in front of you or you're thinking of getting it. Enable the True Motion, enable the Auto Motion Plus so you can get that kind of soap opera effect. That's the best way I can describe how you can see it in your home right now how 120 hertz would look on a monitor or TV if you're planning to get through the holidays or in the future. Now of course with these monitors there's next to no input lag compared to a TV that has Auto Motion Plus. You put that soap opera effect on the TV it's going to introduce 80 to 100 milliseconds of input lag. You can check out ratings.com for the actual input lag on TVs with Auto Motion Plus. That's why they rate Samsung Game Mode the best of the best if you want that enhancement with that smooth frame rate, with that fake smoothness, if you call it that. Because a game running at 60 hertz is still 60 hertz. The TV has to duplicate the images to make it look like 120 hertz, which Samsung is the best at it currently with its game mode chip. But I can tell you for a fact, this Dell is a bang for the buck monitor. It has so much value, and I think it's one of the best hidden gems out there. So let's go see on the PlayStation 5 and see how well it runs it. Same thing here in the display options. You can see I've set it at 4K here, and I put the HDMI to full just because I want that added contrast. If you have this monitor and you're wondering why your image is washed, just toggle that on, put it to full, You'll see right away contrast bump that will make it look TV-ish. Of course, you still got to mess around in the settings of the monitor, but it's going to look beautiful. Don't forget, you can also check in-game settings if they offer that. And don't forget, you have to go into the game apps under game presets, enable performance mode. That's the only way to get the 120 hertz here on the PlayStation 5. And you can see here, the game is enabled at 120 hertz and how it's running at 1080p 120. I believe that's how the game runs it. And of course, I'm sure in the future, with better development time, we will be getting closer to 1440p at 120Hz, so that's going to be amazing. I play every day, all day at 1440p, 120 over 4K60. That's just me. But 1080p does look clear. It looks really, really clear. But I'll be showing some other 120Hz games on all the monitors, so stay tuned for that. And please don't forget to leave a comment down below if you have any questions or if you want to see anything specific on the channel. And I truly hope these videos help you decide if this monitor is worth it, if it's worth your time and money, because nobody likes wasting their money, right? So I thank you guys for watching, and I hope you found this video helpful. If you did find it helpful, please leave a like, share, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to turn on that notification bell so you never miss out on a future Dell S3220 DGF video. I'll see you guys next time.